What's up guys, homie and OG Fitness, welcome to the channel. So, hey, consider subscribing guys, it helps me grow. Today's video, you guys saw in the title, it's Spider vs. Nerd, part two. I'm making this video because somebody in the, the community put a comment about how they view it differently. And it was so interesting to me. I loved it so much. And I even told you in the comments, hey, I'm gonna steal. I'm not gonna steal. Yeah, steal. <laughs> steal, borrow, whatever, you know, we're all sharing. It was funny, guys, because when I made that, that video, like one of my old coaches actually reached out to me and, and told me that I was uh, essentially ungrateful and, uh, uh, you know, making that video all the time that, I, uh, that they spent on me, training me and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, blah, blah, blah. Essentially, me telling, yeah, yeah, good luck with your life, you know? As in, good luck being the way you are. Because obviously, he was saying that I'm, uh, you know, whatever. I don't know how to react to that, man. I was like, yeah, it wasn't about you, buddy. All this time, I'm doing my thing. Nobody's out supporting me. When you chime in, you critique me. That's... In that video, I was saying how, you know, essentially, in the judo club, you got the nerd, and then you got the fighter and how the nerd essentially can't fight. Like, uh, I wasn't like mean about it or anything like that. But I was say, saying essentially how the nerd like is, you know, very uh, focused on technique and uh, nomenclature and names of techniques and all that and learning everything by heart and blah, blah, blah. But this guy in the community, instead of thinking it the way I mentioned it in the last video, I'm gonna talk about it the way it was said in the comments. So now it's really interesting. Instead of having the nerd and the fighter, you have, the competitor, then you have the kata competitor, then you have the technician, and then you have the social judoka. That's the beauty of judo. You have space for everybody. You got four types, four instead of just those two that I that I mentioned uh, before. And I agree with that. You have the competitor, uh, me myself competitor. You know, we're all a mix of this to a certain extent, right? I believe maybe not the kata part. Not everybody likes katas. By the way, guys, in, in Quebec, here, to get the black belt, if you do the kata competition, when you get to the exam, you don't have to present the kata. So I'm gonna do the competition because, well, first of all, it's, it's more fun, I like competing, and I can win a medal, and after that, it takes one thing less. Like, that whole kata thing, I don't have to do it for the exam, I just have to go for the gokyo. Less work, less stress, you know, and uh, yeah, I'm competitor and social. I, I, like, I really, like to me, I don't go out, I socialize when I go train. Either at the gym or at the judo clubs. Obviously not now, now I socialize with you guys, a dog, my wife, but hey, it is what it is. I'm also technician too, because like I believe in technique, I'm learning for a black belt. Like I'm gonna have to get more very technical and learn everything. Classic. There you go. So you got four types and everyone's a combination of this and sometimes you start off as a competitor But then you want to stay in judo, but you know, you, you don't have time to compete anymore And you know you have injuries or whatnot. So then you know, you can do other stuff You could, you could become a coach, you could become a technician. Technicians are very good at showing techniques So you know all these things are Makes judo like a fun sport because this is what my one of my old coaches used to tell me He's like the thing in wrestling is that once your career is over uh, you know, after you've been to the Olympics and all that shit, and you're all busted up, there's no place for you anymore. There's nothing for you to do, man. Like, uh, it's a young man's sport, and there's no, like, what are you gonna do? You're gonna maybe coach, and that's it. But I mean, the, there, there's nothing left for you. There's no space when you go in training. It's like all these young guys, but we're in judo, you have a mix of everybody. I know it's predominantly for young people, but there is, uh, you know, older guys doing it. It depends where you are on the planet and how, how like the classes are structured and how popular judo is. But in Japan, you got a bunch of old guys doing this. You know, uh, people are just rediscovering judo because of BJJ kind of, so, you know, uh, it, it's great. Paper off later on in your career. Like when you end up getting busted and, and stuff like that, there, you could still come, you could still train, you could do technique, you could do kata. So, and, and then, you know, you have that, uh, you still have that black belt and those dance you can get and it still means something, you know? It still means something and you have uh, you have that, that uh, position of uh, respect, of authority that you earn, that you earn, right? Uh, even if you're not uh, competitive anymore. So that's why I want to make this video. So that's uh, Nerd vs. Fighting Part 2. So we could just kill that and we could just add those four right now. So it's uh, the four types of judokas. The four types. So as you see, when you guys comment in, uh, down below, the community here, right? I read those and I make the videos, man.
Win win. Awesome. Love you guys. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and click on the notification bell. Also, there's a link down below. If you guys click on it, it's gonna bring you to a page where you could follow me on all my social media platforms. And you can also apply for, uh, for coaching so that you guys can work directly with me. Also, one last thing guys, if you have any questions, right, send me an email. That's the best way to reach me. I read them and I'll, I'll answer your, your questions, man. All right, peace.